What is up, YouTube? Dark God back again, day three in the books of the October Horror Movie Challenge. Uh, got five films in. If you're following along, I do this on DVDtalk.com, uh, as well as on Letterbox.com for Hooptober, which is basically the same thing, just different rules for it. Uh, October Horror Movie Challenge, you're trying to get 100. Hooptober, it's actually 33 films. Uh, there's a little there's criteria to hit for the 33 films on Hooptober, whereas on the October Horror Movie Challenge, it's watch what you want. There's a checklist to follow along, which I try to do as well. There are movie nights, uh, or movies of the night, and there's also theme nights and everything. So there's, there is stuff to hit, but it's, all that's optional. For uh, Hooptober, it's, you have to hit these requirements for your list. So last night, I got five movies in. It was a little bit of a busy day, so I, I had less time, and so it wasn't seven or six like the night before. But... Uh, Four of the fil films were new watches, so that was something good. Uh, I'd, I'd like to obviously see new films or anything. I do watch some classics. The one film I watched this, I know it's a repeat, was uh, the movie The Night, uh, which I'll get to it. It's a film I, I think every time I watch it, I like it a little bit less and less and less. So anyway, started off the night with uh, Disturbing Behavior, which was from uh, 1998. This film, I always saw like the cover, and I, I would always think to myself, it doesn't look that good. It looks dumb, you know? It, it looked like just... It, you know, it reminded me of uh, Teaching Mrs. Tingle. I always thought that film just looked dumb. I never gave it a chance. And this was the same way. I always looked at the cover work and always thought it was something similar. So I decided to check it out. A uh, recommendation from my wife. She saw it before. And I, I liked it. It's not bad. It's kind of like a, a cool twist where the bad kids become good kids. But the good kids are really the bad kids. So it's kind of pretty cool how it's set up and everything. Um, it stars a lot of 90s uh teen actors you know he got uh uh what's his face i can't think of the guy from sin city um you, you got a lot of the these actors that you'll see if you if you watch a lot of uh the teen you know type action or horror movies from the 90s uh like the faculty uh, you know uh i guess teaching us a tingle even though i've never seen it but things like that you have a lot of those actors in there the movie itself isn't bad uh i kind of dug it it's kind of cool twist the ending's a little predictable you know what's going to happen but it's actually cool how it's set up with everything. And um, I'd go probably five and a half, maybe six out of ten. Uh, definitely better than I thought it was going to be. Like I said, looking at the cover, I always just thought it was going to be something stupid. Um, it's cool to see, like, um, James Marsden and Catherine Isabel before, like, they're anything, you know, remotely big. Um, not that they're huge, but, like, be, you know, James Marsden before X-Men, uh, Catherine Isabel before anything she did in horror. I, out of everybody in the movie, she's probably the biggest horror like star out of it like who stayed in the genre a lot so uh second film i watched was um scary movie from 1991 this was a little different um i like i recorded it on my dvr it was on one night on like tcm or something and i saw it and I, I it sounded pretty cool and it, it's like a halloween um theme movie where it's a, a haunted house in this town and this kid thinks that this escaped lunatic is is lurking in the the halloween uh um, haunted house and killing people and yeah, you know, it's just crazy how it's all set up and everything and it stars um, the, his name excuse me it's a guy who, who was from Deadwood he played uh, Saul in Deadwood and he was eastbound and down and it's like before he ever did anything and I, I didn't even notice it until like on seeing it on IMDb and everything um, it's it's pretty cool like it, it it's early 90s but it feels like late 80s it's very cheaply done it's not a horrible film I'd probably go 5 out of 10 it's not something I'd watch again but it was like kind of like one of those cool movies you find that you know, you're not expecting, I never even heard of it, you know, you, scary movie, you're gonna go right to, you know, the Waynes Brothers movie and everything, so it was, uh, it was different to find in, like I said, it wasn't bad, um, really, some gore is good, I mean, it's more the concept of, like, the haunted house is kind of a cool, like, place to have a, a horror film, you know, like, the, just the grounds of this fair, and, you know, this haunted house that they're going into, and all, like, the different rooms and everything, and how the, the killer gets into the rooms and stuff, um, decent movie, nothing I, I'd visit again, um, after that, uh, the Curse of La La, 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 La I'm gonna butcher this so bad. The Curse of La Llorona, um, in the Conjuring, uh, set of movies, uh, pretty, pretty self-explanatory what it is. It's just straightforward. It's you know you have the Conjuring of Insidious. Um, what else is in there? You have Annabelle. All these films in there, and this was like kind of one of the offshoot ones that they're starting to do, where they're they're kind of branching that out, and. This is like the Conjuring movies I, and the the Insidious movies. I think are w really well done. You know, like they're uh, they're frightening at times. You know, they're well done. They're there's a lot of good actors in it, and you have good actors in this movie too. Like, don't get me wrong, but there's no scares in this movie like at all. Like it was straightforward. Like they telegraphed everything. You know, and it's maybe its own like 
genre of not, not its genre maybe its own grouping of movies that it's part of the universe of killed any chance of it to be scary but it's there's just no like there's no parts of it where you're like man that that's like creepy you know it's everything is just you know this is gonna happen this is gonna happen this is gonna happen it's a very straightforward it hits its points that it has to hit and it it's all right i'd go probably five and a half out of ten um it's probably the weakest maybe that or the nun the weakest in the the whole um universe of, of like the conjuring universe films uh after that movie of the night dr giggles from 92 i think um slasher starring larry drake as the title character and then another movie with a lot of people in it that uh um were famous in the 90s you know you had um uh the guy who played mark from roseanne was in it uh one of the girls from gilmore girls who's on pretty little liar she was in it uh, a lot of character actors playing parents and doctors and stuff good cast just the movie kind of like i don't know each time i watch it i feel like less and less like i like it not, not that i ever really loved it or anything it just it constantly goes down and like the giggling like i get it, it's dr giggles he does like it gets so annoying like like 20 minutes in the movie you're just sick of it already and it's kind of like suspension of disbelief of just how many people like he just runs through and nobody could stop him you know it's just like this guy doesn't seem like he's all powerful you know and it's i don't know i i like I have ratings in my head when I start doing these videos and I'm like oh, I'm gonna go here and as I'm talking I feel like that rating dropping in my head um, I'm gonna go four out of ten I think it's finally dropped below the five I, I used to give it around the five even like maybe a little higher like maybe five five yeah it's going down to a four it's it's like on like that point where I'm just like yeah I don't know if I'm gonna ever watch that again uh, and then I cleanse my palate of that with a movie that was actually worse somehow I watched Netherworld from I think 91 91 or 92 um full moon movie and i mean you could count on one hand with cutting like three fingers off how many good full moon movies there are but this isn't one of them it's i mean the concept is cool it's something different you know it has nothing to do with puppets or anything so it's like um this kid goes to a, a house his father owned and just all these different like i don't know if they're entities demons or something but like just these I don't know these spirits in this house and everything and how they interact with them and everything and it just it felt very it tried to be larger than it was in full moon like they have to keep their stuff like you know streamlined and if they do they could you know you get pulp master three or you know you get subspecies you know good films that they actually did this just i don't know it misses the acting is horrible in it just like it just felt like every they could try to jam anything into this movie to get it in and be like hey look that's in here or look this is in here it doesn't work it just becomes like a mishmash of stuff um i do get a check mark for it that's basically the only reason i watch it. it was on tubi which i mean if you're not watching tubi tv tubi tv has like the best um horror uh like picks like they like their movies i mean you do have to watch ads every once in a while like i think every half an hour you have to watch an ad but it's they're uncut uncensored and it's such a good selection of movies and everything they have a lot of cult movies a lot of horror movies so it's something to check out it's free which is the best part about it uh, y yesterday or two days ago, it was Bud the Chud I watched in there, and then um, something else. Oh, I started watching for tomorrow's video. You'll see uh, uh, Paganini Horror, which is interesting so far. But I, I got to go back and finish watching that. So anyway, five films in. Like I said, it was a little bit of a slower night, and the movies weren't as good. I mean, nothing really kind of stuck out. Disturbing Behavior is probably the best movie of the, of the five. And even that was like that was decent. You know, that wasn't like anything like, I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going to go recommend it to people. But um, I think the body count was, uh, what was it, 18? It's like 57, I think it was. It was pretty high. Um, Dr. Giggles obviously has a high body count. Disturbing Behavior had a pretty high body count. Um, the other one's not so much, couple in each one. So that's day three in the books. Um, tomorrow, day four, hopefully.